Yeah. Ready. Okay. This is uh, an old Akai professional, uh, which I would like you to get a close up. Yeah, Akai professional. And uh, it's got all controllers. Um, it's a master keyboard MX76, very rare. You won't find it anywhere. Uh, so, some of these buttons are used up and down, and combination of two. And I have used all keys to be some sort of like programmable as well. Uh, this keyboard didn't work at all because all the electronic inside was all cocked up. So instead of repairing that because I wouldn't be able to find parts, I simply uh, have put uh, just one second. I'll be back. It's okay. You take hold. So we have used. Um, I've seen many projects uh, doing so many people doing something like that, but many of them had problem playing like all keys at the same time and as many as possible. So I'm not actually. That keyboard is matrix A by ten. So I'll remove this shield. So I tried everything with Nano, but actually I couldn't get communication right with Nano. Nano was uh, pretty not communicating right. You could you couldn't get actually MIDI playing at uh, 31 to 50. I don't know why because I would say just. Uh, Probably frequency on that 31 to 50 is just not right. It's just not communicating at that rate. Uh, then we tried MEGA uh, 2560 uh, and I got the sound. And then after all I had to do was just to work on. Uh, software itself, which was uh, pretty, doesn't really matter now, I'll not hold that back. Uh, and uh, I had to work on software itself. So we have eight keys uh, in each row. So I send signal on eight, and I listen only one wire at a time. So I do that so fast that I don't have even a smallest delay even not a one microsecond I don't use delay at all pure real time and I had previously been doing so because it was so many mistakes in how to put what to execute first so if you put everything in right order really no delay at all I didn't use delay I'll put that code available to everyone so they can have a look. So what we have used out of all sensors and switches, this keyboard actually had previously FSR, which is pressure sensor down there. And I couldn't find second set of switches, so I was thinking I'll never get velocity right. But then I found second set of switches, so I have double switches on each key. Yet I have to use only 8 by 10 and another set by 10 switches as well just to read so I need basically 28 instead of 18 28 out 20 outputs to read and 8 inputs so and I have uh, one for modulation wheel and I have one for pitch band 
I have connected wires to change instruments and I can change them by pressing button and any keys here or I can just close them in minus each of instruments for now. I can make that better differently if I want it. It was only for testing purpose so that works really well. Uh, then um, I will get back to this, so let's say velocities a bit I've really sat down to get that human response and all that and in my opinion it don't really go about maybe 41 uh, micros, 41,000 microseconds and it don't go, we can't respond faster than 3,800, 700, that would be the fastest in my opinion that I could measure because as well, um, uh, rate that you can read it is not that fine. So 3,800 something would be the fastest. So I have made that million times and I wanted to play it really like piano so now I have that even attack and all that so I have made foot switch as well on piano that I'm using a Yamaha Yamaha foot switch and it works as well connected that this keyboard has got actually 28 uh, some sort of foot switches that I can connect uh, so this is velocity I'm just gonna test modulation wheel and then pitch back to code. Uh, so this is roughly code that we have made and that's all inputs, outputs, stuff like that. Uh, and this is where actually we start with playing keys. So I have made scale notes and switches, which one, switch two to get timing and this is where we calculate time and I have broken that down actually in many sections because I wanted so fine velocity. So uh, we will pull that so that will be available. So 
So if anybody wants to check that, that will be more than great. But um, this was made especially for the German guy. <laughs> yes. what I have done here. I tried to make a like a electronic board. Tried a few times myself etching as well and I didn't succeed. It was shit <laughs> really. And um, I drawn it all by freehand and uh, I'm not using software or server. Then I scrapped it, bro broken all <laughs> down and I connected these wires purely uh, to resistors and all that directly, so I have double wires than I'm supposed to, and, but they are connected right before I had so many shit um, connections that didn't work well, so this is now definitely connected all right, but uh, it looks shit. So that works, and it's all connected to Arduino Mega, and it works more than delight, more than beautifully. <laughs> So that's it. Thank you.